Hey everyone, thanks for joining us here in the charts. You're tuned into the Market Beast edition. As your fellow compadre speaking, I want to discuss the AG symbol with you all very briefly. First, Majestic Silver Corp. Uh, just go over some technical details. If you're just stopping in, no news here, just pure technical data only. Uh, excuse me, my loyal subscribers, welcome back. Excuse me, a little bit unprofessional here as well. So if you find any information here that is, that is useful or if you can deal with a little bit of unprofessionalism, we'd love for you to join us here on our journey. Uh, Lord subscribers, welcome back. The YouTube algorithm is promoting the channel. Thanks to your engagement. Appropriate thumbs and comments. Thank you for that, guys. Let's go ahead and see what we have here. I have an interesting uh, tar target for silver here towards the end of the month. So let's dive right into the charts here, shall we? All right, so today's February the 23rd, 2021, and the previous close of AG is going to be $19.33. It's down approximately 1.5% for the day, or for the close, rather. So the last video that we came out with, I'm not sure how long ago it was, we left with just two levels for the buyers and the sellers. Really simple. Here it is. Okay. Uh, and for the, those who just stopping in, we do have an overhead target, $38. I think we had more of a bearish tone on the last video. Now, do we still have a bearish tone? No, there's no bearish tone here. There's actually the skies are clear for silver to go all the way to and possibly to through twenty four dollars. I don't have any information as far as like Wall Street bets, nor do I care to hear that information. Um, it appears that the sky is clear, like I said, for twenty four, twenty five dollars. It could happen towards the end of this month, um, even leading into next month. I'm going to be paying close attention to how this monthly candle is going to close, because uh, there was one candle that I did say. Uh, that I wanted to see or not that I wanted to see. I want to understand because remember, guys, I'm never looking at price. OK, I'm just looking at the story behind the candlesticks. And I'm very as a very, I have a very unique way of understanding what could take place next in the markets. Uh, someone said that it's arbitrage and I'm looking for a specific candle. It's not. I'm trying to understand the strength between the buyers and the sellers in the market. So what I will be looking for is the candle that I've already disclosed on the last video or the two videos ago. Um, that may happen. It may not happen. One thing that I do know is right now the sky is clear to go to and possibly through $24. But the one thing that I'm, I do know or that... I can speculatively say is that there is selling interest in this market. And when it gets above $24 and you think the skies are clear, maybe it will be clear. But I knew that I know that it's likely they're going to make another attempt to push the markets down because they have the, they have they're the printing press, right? The printing press is on their side. So whatever paper uh, silver that they have to put in the market to bet against this market, I'm pretty sure they will for as long of a for as long as they possibly can. But right now, let me just it seems like I'm all over the place. Right now, the story behind the price action is the price needed to get above and stay above $17. Okay, let's just kind of make this very simple for everyone to see. The seller's obligation is to get the price below $11.80. Do I think that's going to happen? It's pretty obvious that the price is far away from that level. So I don't think that's going to happen right now. Whether it happens later or not, it's not going to happen right now. So my bias on this video, critics, is bullish. The price is going up, okay, $24 or higher towards the end of this week, okay? Silver is looking so bullish right now. It's looking so bullish. I'm, I'm currently not invested in silver. We got in and out, uh, but we're looking to potentially get back into the market Monday. Or it's not Monday, tomorrow. I'm not even sure what tomorrow is, guys. I never know what the day is. I don't care. Um, so that's what I'm looking at. Silver is looking very bullish right now towards the end of this month very bullish i don't see why to be an issue for silver to actually uh reach and possibly obliterate 24 dollars uh so i feel like i'm repeating myself over and over guys but the, the one thing that we were i was waiting to see is for silver to get above and stay above 17 dollars it's been that way for actually like looks like two to three weeks now so i'm not sure where i've been uh, all over the market actually so yeah i'd say i have to put a time frame on it here so let's say before the end of March, I want to see some aggressiveness because there's still one thing that let me let me show you guys something. Let me just pull up the monthly here. So I don't even think I shared this with you all. This is not a this is not like um, this is not a good candle right here. You see how this this red candle with this wick below the candle. That's not good. That this setup is not good. That's why when, when the commentator was like, that's arbitrage and looking for candles. No, 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 no. It's very it's a very unique way that I look at the candles in order to determine what's going to happen next in the story. 
So if you if you notice a candle like this is a bearish candle, it's a very bearish candle. So I know I say that silver is looking bullish. Yes, towards the end of this month, silver actually has about two days to make a very aggressive bullish counter move because this is a monthly candle. This is not a bullish candle. This is a bearish candle. So for those of you who like, they try to challenge me about this story behind price action, guys, I'm telling you, I'm not the one to challenge. I know what I'm looking at. You are looking at prices and fundamentals. I'm looking at pure technical data only. And I can have a pretty keen understanding of what's going on behind the scenes in terms of the buyers and the sellers. That's all I look at. That's all I need to see. I don't need to see Wall Street bets or any lemon squeeze, strawberry, orange, mango squeeze, whatever they call it. OK, is there going to be a, a silver squeeze? I don't know. Uh, but right now, towards the end of the month, um, I think I said something like silver to like thirty dollars and then a rejection uh, that would definitely paint the 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 candlestick that I've already speculated that we could possibly see. Uh, so so get ready for some fireworks in silver. I'm going to say the bias is definitely to the upside. I'm going to cautiously be playing silver to the upside, but it must get above twenty four dollars. If silver just so happened to not be able to break above $24 before the monthly's close, that's bearish, guys. It's bearish. Please listen to what I'm saying. If silver decides to just kind of keep this red candle the exact, not the exact, exact same way it is, but if it kind of gets all the way up to like it closes at like $23.60 and it doesn't like get any higher than that, that is bearish. Let me be the first to tell you that is bearish. You can say it's arbitrage, candlestick, blah, blah, blah telling you now it is bearish this candle had better not close red uh and kind of kind of pull its skirt up so high so to speak right um i know this sounds weird guys but i'm telling you now my, my fellow compadre they, they can vouch for me i make some very interesting calls and i see this stuff before it happens so you can challenge me all you want silver had better get above 24 dollars and actually make a, an aggressive move up to 30 dollars before the end of this month okay there's only two more days to for this uh candle so this is going to get very interesting it's going to get very interesting in this market okay so that's pretty much all i have for you wonderful folks um i'm gonna have a bullish bias for the next two to three days okay so that's pretty much all i have so like towards the end of this week i have to be bullish on silver but after that, I'm going to be a little bit cautious if it can't get above 24. I'm saying the same thing over and over, guys. That's it. Let's cut it out. Uh, thank you for your time. Leave an appropriate thumb just below the video there if you enjoyed the content. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know how uh, arbitrage this is or how weird it sounds that I'm looking at candlesticks. That's so weird. I should be looking at fundamentals and basing it on miners and all that other stuff. Let me know that down in the comment section. I don't have enough energy for that, honestly, anymore. The markets are too busy. So um, also, if you're new. You're probably like, what is this? Who is this guy? I'm, I'm nobody, guys. Just if you if you if you like um, alternative markets, Bitcoin and all coins, we also cover that. If you're able to have an open mind and hear me out, let's explain the story behind the price action. We'd love for you to join us here on our journey. So, uh, of course, subscribe, hit the bell. We'll see that information when it's available. And that's pretty much it, guys. So take care of yourselves, protect your portfolio, execute your strategies. We're going to talk very soon. Silver's bullish towards the end of the month. And bye for now, guys.